When Michaela Limsey vanished five years ago, her father, Jack, had his life upended. There had been no sign of her, no answers or only an aching hole in his soul. The agony was unimaginable, and it plagued him every minute of every day. It, however, one afternoon, Jack made a discovery while gardening in his yard. He had no idea he was set to reveal a secret that had been, had been buried for five years. But before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. Jack had been faced with several obstacles in his own life. Before his precious little girl had vanished, Jack's relationship with Michaela's mom had been on the rocks in the end. They chose to separate and later divorce. The vicious fights in court that followed had left behind trauma that would never fully heal. The divorce settlement left Jack with full custody of their daughter while his ex got their house and most of what had been their life together. After the divorce, Michaela's parents were caught in a vicious custody dispute. Jack refused to stand down, unable to imagine his life without Michaela. Camilla, her mother, also fought hard. At the, in the end, in an unlikely win for fathers, Jack was given full custody, but it meant that he would lose the house they had lived in together, as well as much of their life as a family. He still should have been prepared for the worst times yet to come. He poured all his efforts into his job, devoted to giving Michaela the happiest life he could. He worked extra long days and tackled every obstacle he experienced head on. As time went by, Jack was facing the solitude of being a single parent. Because he'd been concentrating on his job and raising his daughter, his romantic life had faded away. Now, he was becoming increasingly lonely, encouraging him to risk stepping back onto the dating scene. Then, unexpectedly, one evening it all came to a head. Just when Jack had started to think he would be alone forever, Light returned to his life in the form of Elisa. With her compassion, empathy, and tenderness, she helped to soothe the wounds left on his heart by his heart by his ex-wife. Now, Elisa represented a new beginning and lit a hope of fulfillment in Jack. Jack's relationship with Elisa had gone better than he ever could have dreamed. After two years together, he proposed, and soon after, they were married. For a long time, Elisa had been Jack's rock and a source of empathy and support. She'd seen the scars crush from the past and did it everything she could to help him heal. As Jack was reveling in this unfamiliar happiness, it was interrupted by something terrible. Michaela had vanished. The 13-year-old had gone out with some friends on a Saturday and never came home. Her friends alleged that Michaela had gone home and in an Uber. They immediately filed a report, and as the investigation began, the anxious couple hoped for the best. They didn't know that the worst was yet to come. Michaela's mysterious disappearance caused the happiness of Jack and Elise's marriage to fall apart. The two of them began an endless search, forever hopeful that they might find their precious daughter. But a few hours became a few days, then weeks. Then, a whole month. Two, three, and four. Five months? Yigirun it had been a whole year without a trace of Michaela. When the first year ended, there were still no promising leads on where Michaela could have disappeared to. Another year followed in the same manner, then two more. Their hope was starting to run out, leaving them with only a permanent hole in their hearts. Michaela's friends and family slowly started giving up on tracking her down, as did the investigators. But Jack was the only one who still held onto a thread of hope. The shadows of doubt had always loomed over Jack. They'd emerged about an hour after he declared Michaela Eula missing. Accusations from his ex-wife intensified, blaming him for Michaela's disappearance. But he Camilla took this chance to open legal battle after legal battle, draining Jack emotionally and financially. But through the tumultuous legal battles and the weight of uncertainty, Elisa stood by Jack's side. Her lover love never wavered, and she became his pillar of strength. Another year passed, marking the fifth anniversary of Michaela's disappearance. By now, Jack had become a fragmented soul, haunted by the ghost of his daughter's disappearance. And Lisa, watching him crumble, felt a helplessness she couldn't dispel. As Jack landscaped his yard one fateful morning, the metallic clink echoed through the silence. His gardening tools had struck against something metallic buried deep within the soil. It unearthed a buried chain, its links glistening with the morning dew. The chain once pulled resisted. Stepping back, he held his waist as he tried to remember if he'd ever seen this chain before. But Jack couldn't remember planting the chain into the ground. Okay, as Jack strained against the stubborn earth, he realized the chain wasn't just tangled, it seemed anchored to something buried deep below. Frustration crept in, but curiosity overshadowed it. Realizing he needed more than his simple gardening tools, Jack decided to call his neighbor, Russo, who had a collection of digging equipment. Rousseau, intrigued by the mystery, agreed to join the excavation. Armed with shovels and determination, Jack and Rousseau dug for hours, following the rust-eaten metallic links of the chain. With each passing moment, the air buzzed with excitement as if the very earth held its breath. Again, for the first time in a long time, Jack felt like the problems he'd stewed in for the last five years had dissolved. The two continued digging, and finally the metallic edges of a chest revealed themselves. Its, e its size sent a chill down their spines, hinting at a dark mystery. The moment the chest emerged changed everything for Jack. 
The lid creaked open, revealing not treasures but piles of papers, notes, clothes, shoes, and jackets. A sense of foreboding filled the air. As the two neighbors sifted through the contents, they discovered old diaries detailing a harrowing story of guilt and involved fault and involvement in a terrible crime. Though vague at first, the entries narrated a dark account that shouldn't have been brought to light. Nets, the more Jack read, the more familiar the guilt felt. At once, he thought about his Michaela. Lost, the accounts in the diaries echoed the pain he had experienced five years ago when she vanished. But that wasn't the half of it. Miss Me, as Jack continued to read, he couldn't shake the feeling that this story felt familiar. His suspicions about his wife's involvement in Michaela's disappearance started to take shape. Wasn't the woman there when Michaela disappeared? Jack remembered feeling like Elisa was hiding something. He could see how uncomfortable she seemed. In her attempts to soothe his pain, it had felt like she was trying too hard, as if she was covering up something. Before involving anyone else or pointing any fingers, Jack decided to ask Elisa about the diaries. She showed her the pages and the clothes, watching her face change from denial to shock. Unable to maintain her composure, Elisa ran into the backyard, where chaos awaited her. The neatly landscaped area now resembled a crime scene. Nay, the once pristine backyard could no longer contain the evil she did five years ago. With nowhere to run, Elisa broke down and confessed. She started with the biggest question why had she done all this when Jack had done nothing but love and respect her? The Ainsby answer lay with his ex-wife, Camilla, who had orchestrated everything. But that was only half of it. There were more bombshells that would rip Jack's life apart. She wanted to make you suffer as sad Elisa said. She came to me with threats, blackmail, and whatnot. She threatened my family, my little brothers and dad. Threatened to come for you as well, she's alive, Elisa added meekly. Michael like she's alive and well, Jack looked up at her. After everything she'd known and allowed him to endure, why would she torment him with this? Enough, he stammered, his eyes tinged with tears. Please, enough. Elisa revealed that she and Michaela had secretly been in contact for the last five years. Camilla had whisked the girl like to the state to her in-laws in Alaska, and Elisa had fought tooth and tail to find her. She never stopped talking to her, updating her about her dad's well-being. But she couldn't tell Jack as she knew what he was capable of. He'd go straight to Alaska, and the consequences would rain down. I'm okay with facing the consequences of my actions, Elisa said. I've wronged you and I'll accept whatever comes the next few months saw her attend court sessions. But she wasn't the one on trial. Since she stood as a witness against Camilla, who had vehemently denied the accusations Jack flung at her. She stood by Jack as he fought for justice. The courtroom became a battleground where truth and lies clashed. It was the least she could do after everything she'd been involved in. After a prolonged legal struggle, the court found Camilla guilty of her malicious deeds. The sentence was a bittersweet victory for Jack and Elisa, who had battled not just for Michaela's return, but for the truth. Mint, the verdict marked the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. A chapter where justice, though served, couldn't fully erase the scars etched on their hearts. At the end of Camilla's defeat came a long-awaited reunion. Jack, filled with a mix of relief and anger, reunited with his daughter. The joy of finding her alive couldn't erase the scars of the past, but it marked the beginning of healing. Camilla faced the consequences of her actions, serving her sentence for the pain she inflicted. And having confessed her role, Elise embraced a path of redemption through community service. As for Michaela and Jack, a five-year-long nightmare had finally ended. 